here we go again. We are back with some Pro Cycling Manager Season 2015. And in this video, and in most of the coming videos, I'm going to be trying the new game mode, which is Pro Cyclist Embody a Young Professional Rider and Progress Through a Career. This is a brand new game mode, and I've been playing this game since I started with Cycling Manager 3. And I've bought everyone since and I have tried 2 and 1 as well, but not, not that much. So this is actually really exciting because I can't remember the last time. I think the last time they... Last time they added a new game mode was probably track cycling. And I think that's what it was in 11 or 12 or something like that. Pro cyclist mode. I don't know how to control it. I, I guess it's the same as in... As in the game mode for Pro Tour de France for PS4 and Xbox. But I haven't played those games so I don't know it, so I'll probably have to use the tutorial. I'll just name myself something random. I am Jürgen. Wow. Really creative, I know. Oh well, region. I think I'm going to be my home region. That's where I was born, and that's where I live right now. Wow, uh, I'm actually pretty tall for a bike rider. That's why I'm not a bike rider in real life, because and I'm pretty fat. 80, I think I am. Wow, I don't want to add a photo because I don't care. I'm probably... Why is it not ordered in, in white from blackest to whitest? Why is it like random colors? I think I'm probably this at this this right now okay I am I am actually 21 years so that's pretty pretty decent so what do I want to be not time trial that's so boring sprinter would be probably good actually I want to win to France that's my goal in this in this career I just decided it. I've, I haven't played any career mode yet or anything so I guess you can't really change these stats this is just what they expect for 21 year old stage race specialists. So if you're older, you're also probably better. But on the other hand, you don't have as much time to improve or reach your career goals. So let's just do this. Ooh. So I don't know your ranking this team. So it'll be the number nine ranked right on this team. So I'll be like, not a captain, not a helper. In this team, I would be uh, one of the strongest riders and the strongest rider. I guess this is the strongest in stage race. Here, I'll be the third best climber. Here, I'll be the best rider on the entire team. But I probably won't have as much salary. Yeah, and I probably won't get allowed to enter as well-known races as on the other teams. This team is actually Blue Water. It's actually based in my home city. So it would be pretty funny to choose this team. I think I'm going to choose Team Treffer Blue Water because I'll be the best stage racer, so I'll be the captain in the mountains anyway. And as well as I would over here, but here I'll be able to participate in better races. So I'll, I'll pick this one. I have no idea what any of these menus is, so I'll hope to find out, I guess. Okay. As in mental mode, messages are to be found. Yeah, this is the same. Training. So this is how hard I wanted to train. So you can actually set it. Achievements. Oh, so I'm going to win this one, the yellow one, and the dotted one, and the World Cup. <laughs> Probably not. Maybe with the pink and the red one as well. Because why not? XP and level up are at the bottom. Each time the bar is completely filled, you level up, which triggers an improvement. Okay, so I have to level up to become a better rider. With each training, you automatically earn XP that slowly fills the bar. And there's also one-time events that you can earn an XP bonus. Ah, okay, and then at the end, of course, you get worse. Because you get older, so you can't really follow the young riders anymore. Welcome to Pro Cytex mode. Yeah, uh, thank you. Where the data? This is pretty much pretty boring. I haven't ridden a race yet. 
you can adjust the intensity for the coming four weeks. The more you compete in races during the week, the smaller will be the impact of training. Weekly load. Keep an eye on the number of training days slash racing days to know when the intensity will have of the week's training will have an impact. Okay. Weekly load. Okay, so it's 100% is bad for fitness, but good for progressing fitness. That's pretty obvious. So I guess that. Eve of rest, eve of race rest. On the eve of each race, training corresponds to recovery, regardless of the expected intensity for the week. That's pretty good. Once the week is started, you cannot change the schedule for the current week. And fitness progress with racing. I don't, I don't think I'm going to use using this a lot because it's too much to take care of for me right now. Just want to race. This is my team. Aspen Kara is probably the best rider. Asmus is a pretty known rider, but hasn't really had a, has had a good career as many were hoping for. Mountains, well, I'm by, by far the best rider. It's the only Swedish rider in the team is close. Time so I'm actually the second best rider. I could do pretty good at this team. Schedule. So. Sign at Cup 1, I think I'm apparently registered for, and 2 and 3, I don't know these races, but I'm not taking part. I am registered, my team is, I guess. I don't know what was this plus, and oh, this is to, uh, I can change schedule and use points. I don't know what points are. Under some way, I can see my goals. For the season? I guess not. Oh well. Oh, so it actually simulates until something happens. So right now I'm just training, I guess. Slowly leveling up. That's all, the, all that's happening right now. And I'm just waiting for my first race. I think it was the 10th of January, so that's today. Yeah. And I am apparently one of the registered riders. Briefing. I'm an excellent freshness. Bad ridden because it's my first race. Guys like Pitaki is in the race. And I'm actually one of the free riders that's highlighted. Favorites. This is a pretty hilly race. But I don't expect to be one of favorites hills. And I, don't have, I think I have 70 or 71. So, unless... Actually, this is more like the sprinters here. Acceleration. Isn't there any sprint? Well, that's pretty stupid. Oh well, I don't know how to control my rider. I have actually no idea how this works. So, this is going to be pretty funny. I haven't uploaded a video to this channel in like six or seven months because I've been too busy about all the stuff, but I've been wanting to get back into it for like two months now. But I haven't I thought about recording Pro Segment Mentor 2014 again. But I really, I thought ah, I might as well just wait for 2015. So I went out and bought it today, the local store, because I didn't want to wait for Steam to put it up for installation at like six in the evening in my time. So I'm actually playing a little bit before a lot of you guys have downloaded the game. Oh well. Yeah, I'm actually going to use the tutorial to this. Change the energy of the rider by using the 8 and 5, uh, 4 and 6 to control the bike. So I'm actually using the numpad, I guess. Can I not use like W A S D? Send us like no. I guess you can't. But I know I can plus and minus, and I need to pause it quickly because first game you have to adjust the camera angle, and I like to have it like you can see the Pelton in like a helicopter view from behind. So 
So this is like moving 8 and 2 on the numpad is like moving up and down. And I'm just going to be using this over here. And I can't control the other rider, so this is like I'm only controlling myself. Yeah, I know what a breakaway is. I don't need all of this in tutorials. This is time gaps, yes. I don't need relay. I'm going to take position up at the top here. And I think that's all I'm going to do this race. Just sit back, relax and let the other teams catch the breakaway. Then I think I can see a hill here at the end, which is pretty steep. So that's where I'm going to make my move and try. Try not to... Uh, hopefully I can follow some of the best riders. Maybe I get a top 10 placement. That would be pretty nice in my first race. I'm going for top 10 because I don't expect to win. Honestly. Wow, my team is pretty far up front all of them. I really have no idea why. Let's see the riders in the race. Oh, this... I don't think they have a map in the race before. That's actually pretty cool. So you can actually see... Oh, this is a... Uh, I guess a map of the race and you can see where you are right now. The group is here, front group. And the Peloton P is here. Let's see who's the... Calpurelli is probably the favorite since he's the first rider and Kra Anderson is the best on our, on our team because he's like 69 sprinting and 69 hills, that's a pretty good combination. I have 67 hills, oh, that's actually not as good as I thought, and only 57 in sprinting, so I need to get away, which is probably pretty impossible since I don't know how to, how to ride, but so far it seems like it's exactly the same as in career mode, only I don't have control of my teammates. I mean, I can't tell them anything. Oh yeah, my racing condition. This is the arrow back like here. If it's plus five, you're really got racing condition. Minus five, you uh, your legs aren't feeling that good. That they are. Let's just say that. Hey, oh, yeah, flat tire. So this is actually a pretty boring race because. I had expected, like, I expected that I could control the riders, like, with, with 4 and 6, and I think it's, I thought it said that in the start, but I guess it's just, you can select between the riders to view their camera angle, but I don't have any interest in viewing any other riders than myself. I'm, I'm wondering if, if they'll tell me if I was, like, not the most important rider on the team, if they'll tell me to go up in front and pull the peloton. Or if I have to do that myself and think of that myself. Wow, my team is actually pulling the peloton. Why? I have no idea. We're probably one of the weakest teams in the entire field. Why are we pulling? I haven't told them anything. So it's, it's not my... It's not my fault if they tire themselves out already. Oh, I... Just said something in events. The Nipo Vini Fantini Saris team are now taking matters. Oh, this is actually a new comment. Their sprinters Kunigo and Favelli. Wow. I didn't know Kunigo was a sprinter, but I guess you'd learn something new every day. Let's see the profile again. So there is a. Let's we go over the first hill. Uh, the hill we're going over three times. First time now. So you can see how steep it is. Yeah. Hill starts here, 8, 9%, so it's a really short hill, 14, 16, 18, 18%, and we have the first attack as well. Minard up here. Oh, it's actually, it doesn't end here, just like a little flat section, and then this is actually a pretty, pretty steep hill for the, for the first race of the entire season. But I guess that's good for me because I specialized in mountains and hills. Probably not hills as steep as this, but it's pretty good. I am struggling a bit. 85, I have to hold my place on the peloton a bit better because otherwise I feel like this peloton is going to crack in two pieces and I'll be stuck behind. Let's see if I can move up a bit again. Kara Anderson. Olsen is probably the best hill climber in the team. 
so I expect these two guys to be following me, the rest I don't expect to have any influence on the race. Hardale is 56, so he's not going to be, and these guys are already stuck. They don't have any chance. Sad to say, but it's probably the truth. Why can't you roll your mouse wheel up to the front field like you used to be able to? Do I actually have to go? How do I sit? How do I roll up further? Wow, okay. I don't know how to watch the front group. Whatever. I don't really need to watch the front group. I actually wanted to watch the group just to see how they looked and how tight they were. But I guess that's not possible. That's nice. Not really, but... Oh well. So I'm sitting in the front of the pellets on a pretty good position. I should probably... just... take an... keep an eye on Kuniko because he's probably the strongest rider. And if it's possible, Calprelli is here as well, 75, Frail, a lot of pretty good riders and I'm sitting up here as well. Uh, let's just get to the last climb, that's pretty much all we're waiting for right now. I mean, not much else to do. Uh, 74 riders, 34 fell off. Two of my riders as well, I think. Both Karanas and Brothers are here, and as well as Olson, I think. Yeah, he's sitting back half. Oh well, I think actually one of the guys in the in the breakaway crashed. This is I'm going. I'm not going to get top ten like I always so because I've already lost a lot of power. But I guess I don't have to get balled myself. I will anyway, because I think this building is pretty small. And I want to get some water. Before the last climb. Let's move all the way up to the front. Pitaki is falling back. Don't think he'll have much of a chance unless he makes it over this last hill. 69 in hills for Pitaki, that's a pretty good stat for him. Okay, I've set myself into the wheels of Kuniko now. And he attacks. No, no, yeah. Okay, I, I couldn't even attack. I can't attack. Didn't even give me the possibility to. Okay, I guess now I, I attack. That's probably a bad idea. Because I don't have any energy to attack. I should just sit in this field now. I can't hold the wheels of Kolpralli, I think. So now, now it's a question of who are the best riders who can make it up this hill without falling over. I'm not one of those riders, I can already tell you that. Uh, people are really struggling right now. I can't even see anything else, see anybody else but myself now. Am I in top 10? I guess I should just take my chill now and put myself on like 85 and just try and go solo and there's a car and I'm riding through the car. It's good to see that this is the, just as good as the old Pro Cycling Mendo games. <laughs> if you can't drive through a car, it's not a Pro Cycling Mendo game, that's just... That's just for a second, man, just riding through cars. Oh, Samiento, he's going to... S okay, and wait for this rider and catch this rider. Okay. Ah, Kuniko won. I actually predicted that as well. I can't sprint because I don't have any energy. Uh, can I get, like... 12th or something. Oh, 6, 7, 8. 
What am I? 12 seconds behind. Nine. Uh, top 10 in the first race. No, yeah, top 10 in the first race. I, I, I thought it was two finish lines. What the fuck is this? That's so weird. Oh, that's the start line. That's the start line. Wow, that's so stupid. Why not? <laughs> I was wondering. I just remembered this, the map. The start and the finish line was in the exact same spot. That's... Okay, this is pretty funny, but... Whatever. Let's just let everybody finish the race. Come on, everybody. Uh, at least it's not a mountain stage, so we don't have to wait in half an hour or something. Only like half a si half a minute, which is also annoying. Uh, this, I guess, this is Kunigo von Nippo Ventini. I downloaded a database, which is surprisingly already made with real names. So that's pretty nice that I actually get the real team names. Some team names of course in the game, but like Team Sky, for example, it's Chris Vroom with V, like Vroom Vroom. And it's. I, I like having the real names, otherwise, I don't like to play. Let's see what happens after the race, because I don't know that. So they're at 10th place. I can see my own stats here, that's pretty nice actually. That's pretty nice. What's the Sire Night Cup? I don't know. Finish top 10 in Continental. And first race finish in Continental. 25 bonus XP. So I guess that's pretty nice. Yeah, yeah, I don't care about the schedule, but yeah, I'll come back in like two or three days, not in real life, but in the game. But so far, this is the first video of my career in Pro Cycle Mania 2015, and I like this game mode. I'm excited to see how good a rider actually can get, if you can get like on the level of Chris Froome and at all. But thank you guys so much for watching, and... If you want more videos like this, please subscribe and comment the video to tell me if there's anything I need to know about the controls or anything because I'm pretty, pretty clueless so far. But thanks for watching guys and goodbye.